What's up, everybody? This is Drew with Akusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. I uh, picked up a whole bunch of coins from my friend on Instagram. Uh, I pick up, I try to buy a lot of bulk deals most of the time just because it's kind of hard, you know, to find one coin, wait four days, and then find a buyer for it and ship it out. So sometimes it's just easier to buy 10, 12, 15 coins just so, you know, it's just one, one way in and then many ways out. And then I can have enough supply for the week. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here's a few coins that I got. Hey guys, wanted to show you a few coins that I got today from uh, one of my recent orders from my friend uh, Joseph Baxter on Instagram. Just a whole set, like a lot of money in coins here, but I really wanted to break down a few of them, kind of show you what my favorite ones were, um, little better day coins, and also just a very nice and original coins. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite coin of the of the batch, 1904 uh, better day MS63 has the CAC sticker, also has the true view, but when I put this up in the light, it's just extremely beautiful, extremely. I mean, if you're not a toning guy, you know this is the coin for you, in my opinion. It's a flashy, better date Morgan. You know, it has the CAC sticker, it has everything you could want on this coin. Um, you know, when you flip it over the reverse, you know, it's just 100% blast white. Um, super, super, super flashy. Um, the reason why I love this coin is just, I don't know, just everything about it to me screams, uh, keep it, keep it, keep it. <laughs> I might keep it, I don't know. I'm trying to convince my brother, we'll see. Uh, just a really, really nice coin. If it was a little bit higher grade, maybe, but. Um, just a really, really unique piece. Um, you just don't see these most of the time these days. You see just a lot of, you know, gunky, ugly, uh, you know, stuff that people haven't held back or kept for their collection. You know, they get a replacement in like this one, and then they throw out the one that's a little bit more, uh, you know, just not that premium quality, uh, beautiful coin like this one is. So, uh, first off, uh, yeah, first coin off uh, is just really, really nice. Let me move into the second one. So this coin is a hard date alone without the PL. This is an 1880 PL, uh, MS61 PL, um, and if you can see, you can just see the deepness of the toning here. Not the toning, but the uh, the mirrors. And I am messing up today, but you can just see how beautiful and deep these mirrors are. It's a beat coin, you know. It's 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 got some issues in the fields, but overall, like just wow, you know. It's not one of those uh, borderline PL coins. It's a really, really, really flashy, uh, lovely, hard date coin. Uh, stuff like this, I really, really like handling just because it's not a common date. There's room for me, but there's also just something that someone says, oh, I don't have that one. I don't have that coin. Uh, this coin's really beautiful, immaculate. It's got everything. Wow. So next we'll be moving into uh, a little bit tougher of a date for a, a CC. This is an 1881cc, going back again with the blast white. Uh, this coin's really, really nice, you know. Uh, very fortunate. I don't think I've ever actually handled an 1881cc before. Just not a huge into CC guy before now. Um, but there is, you know, this room, this there's a lot of room on this deal. Uh, Joseph was very, very nice to me and gave me a really great deal on this. It left me some room, but also left me uh, just to pick up a few beautiful coins here. Next one we're going to be moving into is a more of a common date coin. Uh, it's the 1878S. Um, you know, I didn't. You know, it's just a common date. Uh, it's a little hot right now. You know, it's, it's it's one of the better dates for the common dates, if that makes sense. And also, this one's just very, very dark as well. I don't, not sure why it didn't star. Not sure what's going on with the coin. Um, but I think the reason why it didn't star is because it didn't have enough uh, eye appeal on the obverse, and the reverse is more, uh, it doesn't have that PL feel to it. Um, this coin is just really, really beautiful because of these dark mirrors. Uh, the dark mirrors alone really set this coin apart from most 1878 S's, and someone's going to really love this coin when I send it to them. Next, we'll be jumping into some older holders. So this is an 1880s uh, Morgan dollar. Uh, it's graded MS65 but BCGS in that rattler holder. The, the luster is crazy on this coin. Um, 
Originally, I think you know, it could have a shot at 66, maybe, but there's really not much room in it at 66 anyway. Maybe you're making a, you know, 50 bucks if you're lucky. And I just like the uh, Rattler originality to it. Um, not really looking for 50 bucks, waiting a, you know, a month and a half to get the grades back just to have a chance at 66. But this coin's flashy, you know. Uh, the, the mirrors on the back or on the reverse are pretty deep. People are, and, and Rattlers right now are actually really, really collectible, you know. Um, people are looking for upgrades, but people are also looking to fill sets just for the just for the uh, holder alone. So a coin like this is really, really nice. And yeah, I can't wait to send this one off too. We're gonna go back with another 1880, uh, 1880 coin, but this is an 1881S. CAC sticker, wow, it's got it all, you know what I mean? Come on. And it's pretty flashy as well. Got a little rim, rim toning to it. This one actually is a little bit nicer, I think, than the other coin. Just less chatter in the fields. Uh, you can just see the cartwheels just booming off this coin. Really, really beautiful. Um, really, really love these cartwheels. But if you just zoom in on the face, I mean, just check this out. I mean, look how clean the face is. The cheek is just really, really nice. Um, you know, I think the strike is very, very nice as well. Um, I think this coin really could have a shot at a 66, maybe higher. Um, but once again, I don't really, you know, I don't really like wasting that time doing that sometimes. If it was like, if I think this coin could have 67, which a 67 you could sell for like 800 bucks, maybe. Um, then it'd be worth my time. But like if it, if it was only a 66 coin when it, when it would come back, I mean, you're only making, like I said, 50 bucks. Just not worth your time. You can make 50 bucks doing something else. Um, unless you have the capital to do it, like, all, you know, all the glory to you, or whatever you know. But this coin is really, really nice, and yeah. Let's move into just a few more coins here. This is another 1904. Um, you know, more common uh, grade. Uh, you're going to find just a lot of lower, uh, you know, lower unk, high AU uh, examples out there right now for this coin. It's just a, a better date. Uh, got a little circulation on it. That's okay. You know, we're gonna find a nice new, uh, nice new home for it. Uh, you know, if someone's moving into the scene in terms of collecting, uh, you know, they don't want to spend like you know a few hundred bucks, four hundred bucks on like the 1904 I just showed you. Uh, this coin is your coin. You know, it's uh, I think it's like 120 bucks. You know, something that's affordable. You know, you're waiting for your paycheck. Boom, you can buy this coin. Fits right in your album. Fits right in your set. And, you know, I don't mind taking uh, taking this coin and giving it to a new owner because these coins in these dates are always in high demand. So, thank you, Joseph. Ooh, I just, I don't know, I'm just so happy about this this group of coins. Like, I love handling coins that I just hurt to let go. You know what I mean? We're going to show you another 1878S. But, once again, the eye appeal is here. Watch, you know... You can just see how dark the fields are. Really, really nice. The contrast between the fields and the, the devices are just beautiful. See the luster beaming off the coins. Got a little toning, you know, a little hint to that the toning on there. And then they're also just really, really flashy on the reverse, you know. And I really like this coin. Uh, you know, I have some room in it. And, you know, I don't know. I just like, if I don't sell it tomorrow, I'll sell it sometime. Give it to a new owner that's going to appreciate it. But I'm not sending them a coin that I, I wouldn't like myself, you know, and I think that's what's the moral of the story across this whole entire collection that I that I bought. It's just, you know, when you someone takes it out of the package, puts it in the light, they're like, wow, I'm so thankful I got this coin. I made a great purchase. Last but not least, we're going to be showing off an 1882cc. This coin, uh, you know, ccs are hot right now, like I said, not making a whole lot on this coin. but once again, you got the originality, flash factor to it. You got a little rim toning. Um, but, uh, you know, most of my customers are not shooting for like MS67, CC, you know. They're shooting for a middle of the road. They're shooting for a 63, 64. Something as a decent investment, you know, fill a hole for the 1882 to 1884 accommodate uh, years for the CC uh, mint. But this coin's also a flasher, you know. And I'm really glad I could show you guys this group of coins. I can't say that enough. Thanks, everybody, for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, uh, comment what you thought. And uh, I want to pass a new idea on to you guys. Um, I'm kind of wanting to start filming, like, 
uh, coin shows. So like I'm, I'm thinking about getting a GoPro, something like that, just to document uh, meeting people or buying uh, rare coins. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that in terms of video ideas. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.